Yo, what up gamers, I'm Report Arc, and today we're going to be playing Caitlyn ADC against Lucian. Looks like my figure was already getting into a trade as I was getting the video started, so I was a bit unlucky. I wasn't looking. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be rush running, sorry, running the fleet for work. Also going to be building shield bow this game. Get a quick game in before I get nerfed next patch. Probably won't be worth it on killing in more next patch, so... I think it's really good this patch, though. Okay, I got some health potions here, so I can heal up. Just need to be a little bit patient and not get into any trades in the meantime. Probably should have taken E. To disengage from Lucian if he decides to, like, flash on me. Should hopefully also have Vagar E to dissuade them from going in. No, we have Vagar W. Okay, that's unlucky. Okay, I've also got Exhaust, so I can kind of invite Lucian to dash in now. Now that I'm a bit higher HP as well. But he doesn't even try and dodge, like what? Yeah, I'm just trying to poke him down, trying to like force him to actually engage, unless he just wants to keep getting poked down, but I think he just keeps wanting to get poked down. Yeah, they got heal. Don't want to get baited here. Oh, fuck's sake. Ah, that's so unlucky. Wait, he's dead to minions. Nice, let's go. And the Katarina gank to boot. Holy shit, dude. Okay, that could have gone worse, I guess. <coughs> and that was cheesy. This guy did two ganks into the Baltling gank. What the hell? Ah, uh, sorry, two uh, camps. This is the third camp, the scuttle. So he must have done red, and then probably raptors, I guess. Raptors or golems. Oh well. At least we like kind of forced him to come bot to save that lane, and we still got to kill him in the process. So overall, all things considered, not too bad. Uh, would also have like oh did Ken oh Ken already stole his blue perfect. At least I assume he did. Yeah, he did nice. Yeah, so Zinzal is hopefully going to be a little bit behind for that. I mean, he's already really behind in camps. A true professional is always aware of his surroundings. I don't want to trade with Lucian while he's got that passive up, but... As he's uh, on a minion. Still actually hit me, weirdly. I was really out of range, I feel like. So because I'm going to be rushing the shield bow, which is, you know, a lifestyle item, I'm going to be using Alacrity here instead of the uh, uh, Legend Bloodline. I can already really feel the attack speed is why I'm bringing it up right now. But it's really nice to go Alacrity when you're already going to be building lifestyle through your first item anyway. Okay. It's getting ready to prepare to combo my trap with the stun there. That's why she uh, just flashed away because she knew she would pretty much die there if she got the... Would have buy my trap after the Vega stun? Ah, shit. I'm still holding on to the exhaust, by the way. I didn't feel it was worth using it during the Zen gank. I must always be three steps ahead. Yeah, so now... They're doing pretty bad lane trades right now, so I'm just going to use this pressure to zone them a bit. Okay, going to pick aggressive on Lucian now. He's also going to have to flash. Awesome. Cheers. Yes, as you can see, just not letting him get any free lost hits here. Not trying to shove either. Not trying to like crash this into the turret where he can lost hit safely. We're just going to deny them as much from as possible. Not going to go on the Nami there because Lucian was pressuring me. So I just trade onto the Lucian instead. Although, unfortunately, I didn't hit the net part of the combo, but at least I hit him with a Q, which is still really good. Um... Okay. 
up for a showdown. I don't think we should be too worried about Zen here. At the moment, their button is really low, and we've got a lot more abilities now than we did before. Although, actually, Vagar has no mana. That's potentially a bit of an issue. We'll just hope Zen doesn't gank because he knows Ken is in the area. Anyway, now I'm gonna assume they're gonna be backing here, so we wanna try and crash this in as fast as possible. I'm no longer focusing on zoning because once the enemies started backing, the priority is just to crash the wave as fast as possible to make them as farm. And if they do stay, then it's like kind of like baiting us to shove the wave under turret. But it's also not an issue because, you know, if they're low HP and uh, uh, staying at, the, at that state, that's not really a good thing for them and it increases the chances that they'll die. I'm also gonna be able to shove in another wave here just because. Uh, Crash this so fast, it's just really easy to go for another wave here. Also enables us to go for the next plating. I, I wouldn't go for this next plating unless I was also shoving the wave, and the priority is on the wave. Make sure the wave state is good before we go for anything else. So as you can see, now they need to shove this in, and they won't have too much time to shove this next wave in. And here we go, got the... Good I'm gonna leave base a little bit early with some mana still missing, it's fine because I'll regen that. It's nice to make use of your mana regen and your HP regen and not just like wait until you've got everything back. You now your HP regen and mana regen exist for a reason. I'm gonna wait for Vega to run into the lane before I walk up here. Okay. The illusion may have backed, but I'm not gonna be able to crash this wave, so we're just gonna slow push it instead and crash it on the next wave. Okay, getting ganked. Okay. <sighs> kind of annoying that we uh, got ganked before we got to finish having this wave, but at least it's kind of wasted our time minus the fact that it wasted my flash. Uh, hopefully Vega won't get caught here. Okay, nice. Should try and prevent Nami from stealing the spike. There we go. Do I be worried about warding there though, because Zen could be in that brush? Yeah, there he is. I'm gonna shove this in. Okay, nice one. The solution just dying for trying to contest the pink ward, basically. We see Katarina on the map, don't need to worry about her. Need to pay more attention to where Katarina is, I haven't been doing a good job of that. Like, when we get level 4 ganked, I should really be able to see that coming. Weakness of mine. Stay out of my way. Yeah, there's something going on here. Gonna try and help. Gonna ult Katarina, try and get her low. Okay. There might still be a fight here. There shouldn't be, though. Okay. I don't really want to back here because I've got nearly enough for Shibo and I don't want to sell boots for it. Fortunately, they've got no mana, so I'm not really too strong against Lucian right now in the 1v1. But that Vagar Cage was beautiful and gets us the kill. Nice one. Okay, so not gonna go for that plating. I just want to get the best back off possible here. Definitely can't shove the next wave. Not just because it's a cannon wave, it's just way too far away at the moment, as you can see. Like, if I were waiting for this wave to uh, get to this turret, it would be ages before I can even start shoving. And I can obviously walk forwards to try and farm it early, which would be really good. But, uh, you know, then I'm putting myself really at risk because I'd be alone. I don't have uh, too much vision of the enemy jungle. 
like it's just like marking myself as a really big target, you know, so I wouldn't want to do that. So do we just let it push towards us? I need to grid for another wave before I already got the items that I want to get anyway. Like it's not I'd it's not like I'd be able to get like a berserker's grids off of it anyway, you know. So there's just no point in it. Ah fuck. Should have been able to get that kinda of, honestly. Just needed to queue sooner. Kind of unlucky that I go focus down though, I think. Okay, with Nami roaming, I uh, just saw her mid. Just wanna go aggressive on Lucian. Shove him under turret. Just getting him low for the cane. Uh, let's play some traps here. Oh shit, I messed this up. Or did I? No, come on, how does she live there? Ah oh, shit. Okay, nice. Okay, that combo that I just tried did not go as smoothly as I wanted it to. I actually don't exactly know what kind of combos of Killen even has available anymore after the rework. I know, um... I know she has some, like, headshot cancels back, but I'm not sure exactly how fast you can pull them off. Like, if you're trying to do cancels back to back, which is what I tried to do there. Honestly, shit, it was not the time to try and experiment that, not with a fed Katarina coming in. My bad. At least they didn't die though. Yeah, Lucian's gonna be shoving this spot lane wave in, so because I based instead of going to pressure mid, don't have time to go back mid and pressure, I just, instead I need to rev bot in time for this wave to crash into me. I'm gonna shove that out and then probably shove out another wave again, if I possibly can. Uh, see Zenzel's top side, so it shouldn't be an issue. Then that should give us enough time to rotate to mid and try and get some turret damage there. Yeah, we'll shove out one more wave here too. Katarina's uh, just killed our jungler anyway at the moment, so not much to do mid. In fact, we might just want to stay bot here. Since everybody's on the opposite side of the map. Nice. Good shit. Easy kill. Oh, how the fuck did she end up here? No, oh, that was a crappy Q. Oh well. Wait, what? My headshot sound went off there, but it didn't actually go off here. Oh no, that didn't reach? Are you for real, dude? No way. I was so sure that Q would hit. That sucks. That could have been a kill, easily. My bad. It was really great effort to recall there. Uh, let's see if we can steal the red. Hello? Okay. Fuck, I just wasted my trap, my bad. No, dude. I need to flash. Oh, nice, the trap. Let's go. I'm probably fucked here, though. Unless I can somehow 1v2 them. Oh my god, I actually can. Unless- oh no, the gangplank out of nowhere. The fucking top laner of all people shows up. Ah, that's lit. That's annoying because that was literally the fifth person to involve himself in this fight. When realistically he should be on the opposite side of the map. If not for that, that would have been such a huge play. I mean, it was still a huge play for me, but it would have been so good to actually just not even die at the end there. Just kill every single one of them. Oh well. Minus the Zen who unfortunately got on time. They got away on 10 HP, but whatever. That one was, uh... I could ignore that one. Anyway, I uh, already got the Storm Azure. I'm gonna go for Berserkers now. Probably gonna go for Farcon in here. I don't think their comp is too tanky. I'm also really ahead, so... Don't need too much DPS. Can afford to go for some poke. Uh, actually, I'm not in any hurry to get the bot here, I don't think. This isn't really pushing towards us. Instead, we'll go mid and try and pressure that. Is 
Is that a kill? Oh, let's go! Katarina fucked it up by dashing. Oh, that's so unlucky for her. But really lucky for me. Let's go. I wasn't sure if that Q would actually hit or not. I'm glad it did. I wasn't even sure if the ultimate afterwards would kill or not. Pretty, like, kind of lucky that it actually worked out and led to a kill. Well, pretty lucky when you consider Lucian's actions as well. Well, Lucian and Katarina's, it was like, probably both of their faults. It was really bad synergy from them. But, ow. My bad. This didn't blow my shield bow. Oh. Goodbye. Wait, I lose my headshot on Gangplank Barrels, that's kind of annoying. Um, Luck should go bot. No point in me leaving mid right now. I'm gonna back now though. Lux didn't go bot. Oh well. Maybe grab that and shove that in on my way back from base. Yeah, I'll miss some CS here, but I will. I'm not gonna bother rotating mid because I feel like, yeah, by the time this is over, uh, by the time I'm there, this would already be over. I don't think that was going to extend itself too much, and it looks like it didn't. I just need my team to continue not fighting while I shove out this bot wave. This is where you yield. Continue not fighting. Anyway, again, like no point starting to rotate mid, because I don't know that I'll be there in time to actually do anything. I'll start rotating now. Okay. I think I can do something. Oof. Kind of unlucky, oh well. Oh god. Oh, come on. Yeah, nice. Uh, there's a gangplank pushing to our inhibitor turret. I need to stay though, I can take this. I think we can back for that. Oh my god. Okay, Zin is up. Oh, Zin is there. Wow, that reached. I'm amazed that took them so long to go again. Thank what the hell. Didn't get the inhib though. I'm just gonna try and steal the red, if it's up. Yeah, perfect. What the hell? Uh, I should've placed that drop sooner, my bad. And this guy lose that thing already? Oh god, fuck. Uh, I fucked up here. Should've used that to go through the wall. We're okay though. Fuck, but I won't kill her. Or wait, what? All right, there we go. I still have shield bow somehow. Oh, this is gonna be a hell of a bait for a game plan I didn't even know was there. Let's fill off of this. All right, nice, huge. Now you see why shield bow is getting nerfed next patch. I'm just gonna get out of here. No point continuing to push when I've got so much gold to spend. 
Oh, come on, Nami. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll grab the Drake first. Shouldn't be expecting to fight them here, so it should be, shouldn't be an issue that I've not spent my gold. There we go. But yeah, it's important to always pretty much just combo your ally CCs with your traps on Caitlyn. If you ever see like one of your teammates just stunning or rooting or whatever, one of the enemies, really important to just immediately place a trap. Just stop what you're doing, just place a trap. Unless, unless like it's, you're literally gonna die for it, you know? But if you're in range, there's just no reason not to. Fuck, if she got hit by that, she might have died for this. I didn't think she would even bother trying to dodge that trap, honestly. Or, sorry, that Q. Uh, we should probably do Baron. There's no point pushing mid. Oh shit. I don't even know that they don't have vision. I don't, I don't think there's any point in trying to camp here. <laughs> Should just do Baron. Come on, guys. Like, they know we're not on Baron because they just saw us. Okay, I guess Lux is distracting them. Won't even bother placing traps to cut them off here because they're just not going to contest this. There we go, now we can push top. I'm gonna try and steal their blue first though. I don't really care who guessed that. As long as we get it and they don't. I'm not here to serve. I'm here to protect. Yeah, I can't really push the turret here because my team is backing, but I'm gonna just push one wave. I'll also go for Scuttle Crab now. Actually, I could have pushed there. I think I'm really strong in creating this off HP. Also, got a Gromp up if I want to steal that after this wave. Okay, the enemies are distracted with my team being bottling for whatever reason, so I guess I'm just a split push Kalen right now. Mm. Ah, fuck, I messed that up. Should be fine here, though. Saving the ultimate just in case she flashes, but she won't. Yeah, it's a good thing I was running exhaust this game actually. That's uh, probably at least twice that it's helped me just 1v1 Katarina. Really balance, really balance summoner. <laughs> GG! Okay, so that's Kill and ADC in Season 12. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you need some more content like this. Feel free to leave a comment for the algorithm if you want to help me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, gamers.